projects in this video we are going to explain about a project titled aspect based sentiment analysis per tourist review in today's data driven world understanding the emotions conveyed in the text is essential for business researchers and decision makers this innovative project utilizes the advanced techniques such as vader score and counter vectorizer to analyze the sentiment intensity accurately by implementing unigram bigram and ngram models for the each sentiment category we aim to delve the deeper into the emotions expressed in the testable data our project has far reaching implications from empowering the business to make the data driven decisions based on the customer feedback to assist the researchers in gaining the valuable insight from the large volume of tests and the objective of our sentiment intensity analyzer project is to develop a sophisticated system that accurately gauges the intensity of sentiments expressed in testable data we aim to leverage the vader score a powerful lexicon and a rule based method along with the count vectorizer technique to analyze the sentiment dynamics comprehensively by employing the unigram bigram and ngram model for the each sentiment category we seek to provide a detailed assessment of the emotion tones present in the text the ultimate goal is to enable the business researchers and the decision makers to gain the deeper insight into the customer opinions market trends and the public sentiment through this project we strive to enhance the efficiency of sentiment analysis and empower the various domains to make the well informed data driven decisions and these are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project the software requirements are python ideal with version of 3.7 or anaconda with version of 3.7 on jupyter notebook hardware requirements are operating system as windows processor of minimum intel i3 and above ram of minimum 4 gb hard disk of minimum 250 gb And to know about the flow of the project, these are the steps we need to discuss. The first one is importing the libraries. In this step, we import the necessary Python libraries required for our project. Commonly used libraries are of NumPy and Pandas for data handling, Matplotlib and Cburn for data visualization, NLTK and SKLearn for the test pre-processing and the machine learning, and Flask for creating a user-friendly web interface. And the second step is importing the data set. We acquire the data set containing the tourist reviews. The data set typically include the test reviews from tourists and the corresponding sentiment label for the various aspects of their experience such as accommodation, food attractions, transportation, etc. And the third one is data visualization. Before diving into the analysis, we visualize the data set to gain the insight into the distribution of the sentiment across the different aspects of tourist review. Data visualization techniques such as bar charts help us to understand the sentiment distribution and identify the patterns or trends in the data. And the fourth step is test preprocessing. Data preprocessing is crucial for cleaning and preparing the test data for analysis. In this step, we perform the tasks such as converting the test to lower case, removing the punctuation, eliminating the stop word and applying the technique like tokenization and stemming. to standardize the test and the next step is sentiment intensity analyzer here balance our dictionary and as a lexicon rule based method specifically designed for the sentiment analysis it analyzes the intensity of sentiment in tests taking into the account both the polarity and the intensity modifiers like of very or extreme we use the vader to calculate the sentiment score for the review of various aspects And the next one is count vectorizer. The count vectorizer is a test preprocessing technique that converts the test data into the numerical vectors. It represents the each review as a batch of words. Counting the frequency of each word, we use the count vectorizer to transform the preprocessed test data into the numerical format, which is essential for training the machine learning model. And here, in this step. The one as unigram for each sentiment. Unigram refers to the simplest form of feature extraction, where each word in the test is considered as a single entity, and this approach individual words from the reviews are treated as a separate features. For example, if review contain a word of excellent service, each of these words will be treated as separate unigram features. The sentiment analysis model trained on the unigram features will predict the sentiment intensity for each of the unigram present in the review. 
and the next step is biogram per each centimeter. Biogram, on the other hand, considers the pair of consecutive words as features. It groups the adjacent word together to form the more meaningful unit. For instance, in review of emerging experience, the biogram feature would be of emerging experience. By utilizing the biogram features, the sentiment, dynamics, and the context that arise from the certain word combination, leading to a more nonsense analysis of the sentiment conveyed in the review. And the next one is engram per each sentence. Engram, in a general sense, refers to the sequence of n words as features. It can be of unigram, multigram, trigram, and so on. The engram approach combines the multiple consecutive words as a features, providing a more comprehensive understanding of language pattern present in the tested data. For this, delicious food and excellent service would be the delicious food and. By incorporating the engram features, the sentiment analysis model can detect the sentiment pattern that may emerge from the longer sequence of words. And the next step is training the model. Once these models are set up, we train them using the transformed numerical data from the count vectorizer. During the training, the models learn to recognize the pattern and the relationship between the words and the sentiments, enabling them to make the accurate prediction on the unseen data. And the next step is user gives the input. To make the sentiment analysis system user friendly, we deploy it using the Flask, a web framework in Python. Users can input their tourist review through a web interface. And the next step is the user input is pre processed per prediction. The user input is pre processed to match the format required by the trained model. This involves applying the same test cleaning and pre processing step as done during the training phase. And the next step is trained model is used per prediction. The pre processed input is fed into the trained unigram, bigram, and engram model to the each sentiment category to predict the sentiment intensity of each aspect mentioned in the user tourist review. And the next step is final outcome is displayed. The prediction from all the models are combined and the final aspect based sentiment analysis outcome is displayed to the user through the web interface. This outcome provides the valuable insight into the sentiment expressed per disparate aspect of the tourist experience, helping the users to make the informed decision about their travel choice and enhancing the overall travel experience. And the execution of the project. To execute the project first, we need to open the code folder. And this is the code folder containing of various files within it. The template folder containing of the index.html file and the app is an ppy file which likely contain the information related to the content logic. It includes the code written in Python that handles the server-side operations such as processing the user request, interacting with the database, and generating the dynamic content that to be rendered in the HTML template. And these are the data sets of the user in this project. And this is of IPYNP file, which contains the combination of code, graph, and output all in one place. It allows the user to write and execute the code in the individual cell, making it a popular choice for the data science. And model is a pickle file which contains the information of algorithm and it loaded into the project code during the runtime to utilize the trial model for the various tasks, such as making the prediction on the new data or performing the specific operation. And for the execution of the project, first we need to copy this code folder part and then open the Anaconda prompt. Here we need to write a command that is cd space and paste this code folder path and by this it will change the current directory to the code folder path and then click on the enter button. Here we need to write a command that is python space app.py. By using this command it will execute the python script and perform the runtime check or the system errors within it and then click on the enter button after running this app.py file. The Flash framework will host the address locally at like this. We need to copy this link and paste it on any of the web browser of our choice and I prefer to use the Google Chrome. I'm pasting this link and then click on the enter button. Here we need to write an review as of the test and I'm entering of full noisy atmosphere.
the room is better and the service as very bad and clicking on the predict button here it predicted as review is negative and i am entering the other review as of the food is very delicious and the service is good with nice room to and then click on the predict button here it predicted the review as positive in this way we can predict the positive and negative of the reviews from by using the sentiment integrity analyzer and in conclusion our sentiment intensity analyzer project successfully developed a robust sentiment analysis system using better score and the count vectorizer technique by employing the unigram bigram and ngram model for the each sentiment category we achieved a comprehensive understanding of sentiment intensity in the testable data this project holds the significant potential for the various applications including business decision making market research and the customer feedback analysis the accurate assessment of emotions expressed in the test enables the business to better cater to the customer needs and enhance the overall user experience As sentiment analysis continues to evolve, our project contributes the valuable insight to the field and lays the groundwork for the further advancements. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.